Hi guys, our staff and elders were recently informed that an individual who attended our services on this past Sunday, June the 21st, we were informed that they have experienced prolonged exposure to someone in their family who tested positive for COVID-19. The exposed individual who attended our services has already tested negative for COVID-19 and has agreed to be tested again at the end of this week. This test will provide definitive results that they have a negative COVID-19 status. The CDC guidelines for the situation state, if you've been around someone who was identified as a close contact to a person with COVID-19, you should closely monitor yourself for any symptoms of COVID-19. You do not need to self-quarantine. If you attended our services on June the 21st, we encourage you to closely monitor your health until we receive the results from the second test later this week. At that time, we will provide you with an update and give you any further guidance that is needed. When we release CFCC's safeguards, we promised you that we would do everything possible to ensure your health. We feel like this announcement is simply one step in our commitment. We want again to encourage you that as you gather with us on campus for worship, we encourage you to follow CFCC safeguards. These safeguards include, but are not limited to, one, practicing social distancing, and two, wearing face masks. We also want to make a special request in light of this recent situation. We ask that if you tested positive for COVID-19 or if you've been in close contact with someone who has tested positive for COVID-19, we ask that you do not attend on-campus worship for two Sundays. I also have another request for you. I request that you pray. Please pray um, for the families within our church and within our community who are being negatively affected by COVID-19. I also ask that you pray for the leadership of our church, the leadership of our county, the leadership of our state, the leadership of our country as they seek to deal um, with this situation with wisdom and discernment. Last, I ask that you pray that we as the body of Christ in this place, that we might be beacons of the hope and love of Jesus Christ It is my prayer that you and I might shine brightly for Jesus. I hope you have a good week. Take care.